Seven. Looking for Cooper again? Vic. But it's Tremont Williams, Pro Bowl level play at the corner. Everybody knows it. What a play he made. And it saves the day for the Green Bay Packers. Vic DeJack. The Lord of Silver Fountains. The King of Carven Stone. The King beneath the mountain. Shall come into his own. And the bell shall ring in gladness at the mountain king's return. But all shall fail in sadness, and the lake will shine and burn. You have no right. No right to enter that mountain. I have the only right. What is this place? The desolation of Smaug. back here with a new damn video um i know i'm in a different environment well i'm in the same environment just using a different camera i know you can only see half my body usually you can see you know my pants and everything i'm just trying something different you know every week because i'm trying to do different things and it's kind of hard for me to do those different things but next week i'll probably have a you know different video different environment something like that whatever okay let's get down to it so we versus the Packers. This is going to be a tough game. Don't care what nobody has to say. All right. Last year we did beat them, but what you guys need to realize, they had a second and third string quarterback in. All right. There's not a lot to say. They got one of the best quarterbacks out right now in Aaron Rodgers. They have weapons like Jordy Nelson, which I don't know who's going to stop him. I don't know who's going to hold him back. He's so big, the dude's like a tight end. Randall Cobb, you know the dude, like all these other guys, all right? This is what we have going against us, okay? Short week, and we're on the road. We played on Monday night. We got a short week to prepare, a short week to rest, and we got to go right back on the road, not staying at home, okay? It's the Packers at their house. The weather, they're calling maybe, they said maybe 30 degrees or 17 degrees and a chance of snow. So it's going to be very, very, very cold. Okay. Last year we did beat them. We beat them with a second and third string quarterback in, which was Scott Tolzien and some other, I think that was Puerto Rican, Mexican, whatever. I don't remember who the guy was. Okay, so Aaron Rodgers has only lost three games in Lambeau. Or, yeah, he only lost three games at the Green Bay Packers Stadium in his whole in in his tenure as the Packers starting quarterback. Okay? He's undefeated versus the Eagles. Which is two games. He only threw five touchdowns and two interceptions. He has not thrown an interception in his home ten, I mean in his home stadium since 2012. These are all things going against us, okay? He only lost three games to start again. Yeah, whatever that. Okay. But this is what I have to say to all that. Before I get down to the other things. People are talking about all these odds stacked against us. Oh, well, you know, Aaron Rodgers only beat, you know, is undefeated against the Eagles, but he only versed them twice. Okay. He has five touchdowns, two interceptions. Okay. Versus the Eagles. But let me tell you this. Those two times against us when he did, when he was a starting quarterback in, it was Andy Reid 
and Michael Vick as the quarterback. We got a new bloodline. And I hope and I pray that Chip Kelly started something last year by beating the Green Bay Packers. He meant they didn't have Aaron Rodgers, but that I'm happy. Uh, hopefully he started something by beating him. Hopefully he can do it again. People are so focused on Aaron Rodgers, which he is a great quarterback. He has, you know, the you know all the great, you know, talent-wise. You know, you get the deal. People are forgetting about Jordy Nelson, Randall Cobb, and so many people are forgetting about this guy, Eddie Lacy. When you forget about that guy, you will be fucked. As I was going to say, Eddie Lacy's a big truck and, you know, you know, running back. Last year, he almost won that game for them against us, himself. So we got to look out for him. Clay Matthews, you know, he isn't the same as he was. But I'll tell you this, the Green Bay Packers defense isn't that good. But they have recorded one sack in 29 straight games. They have got a sack in 29 straight games, which is something that Mark Sanchez better be on the lookout for. No matter who's coming at you, whether it's, uh, uh, what the hell's his name? Julius Pepper, uh, whatever his name is, Clay Matthews, I don't care who it is. Watch out for him. But w what we have going for us, is Chip Kelly. Can he start a new era in Philadelphia where he can beat the Packers with Aaron Rodgers as, Aaron Rodgers as the starter? We will see. He did it last year, but that was without Rodgers. This is going to be an NFC showdown. They're hyping this game up. Their defense doesn't really scare me. Our defense has been playing pretty decent at times. But can they stop Aaron Rodgers? If we can get enough pressure up the middle on their okay O-line, which is not so great, their O-line, but just starting to come together, though, if we can get pressure, because our front seven is nasty, we got Connor Barman, Trent Cole, Michael Kendricks, Fletcher Cox, Benny Logan, and Bo, Bo Allen, they switch in and out, which I like Bo Allen a lot more because I think he's more bigger, you know, all that. He's a bona fide nose tackle. All right? Now, this is what I got to say. That if we can get pressure on Aaron Rodgers, right, we can somehow get, we can cause havoc. Bring a little pressure on him, even though I know he can run at times, he can do this, he can do that. And I think if you bring a little bit of pressure on him with the cold weather and all this and all that, I'm going to keep it real here. His hamstring was not feeling well, they said, against um, the Saints. I think he'll mess up his hamstring in this game. Do I want him to? No. Why? Because I don't wish hurt upon no one. And second of all, I would like to beat a team with their quarterback and everything intact so they have no excuses at the end of the day. Okay, we have Mark Sanchez starting as quarterback. Mark Sanchez has been playing very good. I went back and watched the game. He played fantastic, even though I went to the game. Okay, their corners are not that good. They're going to shut down Mac Coop. They're going to shut him down, and he ain't going to do anything anyway. Jordan Matthews is the guy. Jordan Matthews will be getting a lot of catches, I think, and a lot of touchdowns in this game. He is everyone's fantasy target for Week 11, which is this week. And I'm just expecting a good game. I expect a high-scoring game. Like the NFL um, on ESPN, you know, on Twitter, they were just joking around. They said they expect the score to be 80-75. to 75. Just joking. Basically saying that both teams don't have a defense. But let's keep it real here. One of, the, one of those defenses needs to make a stop. Either be ours, whether it be theirs, okay? I said in my last video, I said that whichever team has the ball last will win the game. It will be a shootout till the end. Unless our defense shows up a little bit and our offense can keep going at the rhythm they're going, we can win this game. It's going to be a tough one, Eagles Nation. Hopefully we can do it. Chip Kelly, get to work. Get your things going, and I'll tell you one thing. If we lose this game, which I'm kind of, I'm really, I, I am expecting us to lose. If we lose this game, if we lose this game, I won't be that upset because I, I said we would. This is all I want to see out this team. 
I want Mark Sanchez to look good. Our defense to look pretty decent. And LaShawn McCoy to have a pretty nice game. And I can walk away at least satisfied. If we get blown out, I would not be satisfied. But if the team looks decent against this type of team, I'm okay with that. One more thing. They're... Run defense is ranked 30th in the league. And I know it said, I remember I told you guys that the past defense, run defense, don't mean nothing. But Shady, it's your time to step up, grab your balls, and get going. You're having a slow season this year. I know you are. Maybe you jinx yourself by going out saying, I'm rushing 2,000. Uh, but you rushed for 19 yards last week. You know what I mean? This is your game to break out. You broke out against the Giants, but the reason you broke out is because they brought the two safeties off the box and put them back there because they thought we were going to pass. You know the deal. Um, this is your game right here. The Packers have allowed, I think, more rushing touchdowns than any team in the NFL, I think. Matt Forte was running all over them. Not, not this game. The last time they versed the Bears, even if the Bears lost, okay? A lot of people are looking at this Bears game and saying that Aaron Rodgers is going to put up 10 TDs on us. Let me tell you something. We are not the, the Bears, no disrespect to anyone. We're not Jay Cutler. We're not any of them, okay? Our defense is better than theirs. Back to what I was saying. If our defense can make some stops and we get the ball, we win this game. Am I expecting to win? No. I just want the team to look good against people like this that are contenders. Because the Packers were one of my Super Bowl picks to go this year. They looked shaky in the beginning, and now they're looking good. Three keys to victory. Score points. Contain Aaron Rodgers as best as you can. This is not Andrew Luck. No disrespect. This is not a quarterback that people are thinking. This is Aaron Rodgers. This is not Scam or Cam Newton. This is that bad man, Aaron Rodgers. Shady, I'm looking for you to at least break out this game. 30th ranked rushing uh, run defense. You better get some damn yards. Darren Sproles, keep doing your thing. You know I'm going to keep rocking your jersey. I'm about to, well, this shirt, I'm about to go get me a real jersey of his because for real, this dude plays with so much heart. You hand him the ball, and he can get you a touchdown. He can get you multiple yards. Shady needs to get his shit together, too, and do the same thing. Let's go, birds. And I'll see you guys on the post game. Subscribe. E-A-G-L-E-S. Eagles. Follow me on Twitter below. Catch up with me throughout the week. You know what I'm saying? And I will possibly... I might be in Philly at Chicken Peach. I might be at the Xfinity Center. So you can see where I'm at. Check me on Twitter. My Facebook page will be below where I talk Eagles only. You can come there, comment, like, whatever you want. That's about it, guys. Peace. Go Birds.